we fight her. Oh, oh big oh. right hand. One punch. That is it. Forget about the count. It is over. And again from Dixon. A bit of time and thought in this girl. Love there in the combination. But fair play to make Dixon to come back with fast. Plenty of fighters have shown us over the years. And then she whips the right hand. Hi, Susie here from Women's Fight News. And I'm joined today by British boxer Rhiannon Dixon, who is a Southpaw and is 2 in 0 and who fights under Anthony Crawler uh, from VIP Gym in Manchester. Yes. <laughs> so, hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. And um, so first, first of all, I just wanted to kick things off by asking probably the obvious question, but how did you get into boxing? Uh, so I got into boxing I, uh, I used to watch like a lot of MMA and Ronda Rousey was like the it girl at the time and um, she was just kind of like dominating um, all the other female athletes of the UFC and I thought oh I'd really love to get involved in something like that. I wanted to lose weight and um, just kind of like do a sport where I didn't know I was exercising because you know when you go to the gym you know you're on a treadmill for about an hour and it's horrible and you can't motivate yourself to stay on so um, I got in touch with Mike Grundy, I think he's he's in the UFC now, um, but he put me in touch with my old coach Lee and um, then I started training and started doing um, like classes and sparring and I just thought oh my god I love this sport, like I don't want to look past and try anything you know with kicks like MMA. Um, so then we went and he said oh well why don't, why don't you have a fight? Um, so I had a fight, a few fights for the unlicensed scene. I didn't have, I don't have an amateur background. I, I went through the unlicensed route and then um, he thought, oh, well, you know, we're, we're doing so well. Why don't we try and go professional? Um, my friend, my best friend, James, he just recently turned. So we just thought, oh, we'd give it a go. And then, yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> and so it was white collar that you did. Cause... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there some of the 12 fights you had? Uh, yeah, about 10, 10 fights. I won them all, yeah. Brilliant. And what kind of opponents were they? they did you, and did you knock them out or knock them down or what, what kind of fights um, were they? They were, my first one, the, un, the unlicensed scene is quite um, unregulated. So my first fight, I thought I was going to be fighting some girl that was my weight. Um, and the girl who turned up wasn't my weight at all. Um, she was quite a lot bigger and I thought oh no um I'm really gonna have to fight this girl and I was just thought in my head you know if I don't do it now I'll never do it so <laughs> I got in there and um I think I won a f the I, I wasn't quite confident in my first few so I won them on points but then as I started getting more and more confident I started stopping girls and um it was mainly with body shots because um, I like going to the body a lot, so I think that's where that all first stemmed from. <laughs> so, going on to your, your two and zero, um, so I, I, with watching your debut, it was, it was really impressive. I was very impressed oh, with your debut. You. I liked your, um, your range, your accuracy, and straight from word go, you, you were getting in there with those shots. And then you knocked her down, didn't you, in the first? In the yeah. first round. <laughs> <laughs> And um, but then unfortunately it went on to points. So I wonder if um, longer rounds maybe you would have knocked her out. That's what I, I know. <laughs> that's what I thought. Well, I thought it was over. Well, to be honest, I keep on saying to Ross like, um, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't believe that she got up because I thought, oh, it's down, like it's over. I went back to the corner. She stood up. I was like, why couldn't you just stay down? Like it's my debut. Don't be tight. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, maybe if it was a longer round, um, 
I don't know, I think I was just so nervous and had so much energy. I was just like, ah, like just <laughs> trying to get um, in and out. But yeah, maybe if it was a longer round, I might have got a stoppage, but I don't know. Something to look forward to if it does come. Because <laughs> then you, your second fight was a bit different again, wasn't it? Because you're someone who kept on holding. Oh, yeah, that was the bane of my life. Um, uh, we've, I've, we've worked a lot on that in the gym, actually, you know, like trying to keep the distance and um, footwork, which is something that I didn't really um, utilise a lot in that fight. I, I tried to just come at it, you know, as from the angle of like my first fight, just try and walk her down and use my head movement. But I feel like when she threw a punch, it wasn't to hit me, it was to just hold on. And um, I, I, I I didn't utilise, you know, like my inside work and stuff like that. But it's a lot of stuff that, you know, watching it now, I can learn and improve on. And I, I don't think I'll ever be in that situation again now because it annoyed me so much. I don't think I'd let it get to that situation. And I guess you're still learning, really, because having just done white collar before, I, I guess it's quite a big learning curve for you coming into the pros and you're learning oh, loads every fight yeah definitely and um because my debut was on channel five and it was having all them cameras in my face and not being on this massive show and i think i saw someone tweet after it saying i've never seen someone look so out of place walking oh. through a ring <laughs> but um because we we train at vip and um i said to because chantel cameron she was like warming up for her last uh, doing some training for her last wbc you know she won the wbc belt yeah. and i said to her like I, when I'm walking to the ring, I just want to get in there. I don't want anyone to look at me like I just get so embarrassed. And she was like, yeah, I just want to get in there too. It's, it's just something that I need to get used to. But hopefully on my next fight, I might look a bit more like I'm in the right place. <laughs> it was a big show for your debut, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And like the cameras were there and I was like, what am I meant to be looking at? Like, do I look into the camera like I'm looking or do I look past it? <laughs> So yeah, hopefully next time I'll be a bit more prepared. Um, we've already said about your boxing style, you're sort of um, quite come forward, um, quite aggressive. Is there another boxer out there that you think you would compare yourself to, to what your style is like? Um, I'm trying to think, you know, there's a lot of different styles that I admire from loads of different boxers like Katie Taylor's hand speed is unbelievable um you know Mike Tyson when he was so aggressive and coming forward I love that and obviously Lomachenko's footwork but I can't say that I'm purely like one fighter um I think I just kind of like watch people and think oh I'd love that like uh, who was that girl that just fought um who had a debut what was the name Ellie, Ellie Scottney, she did a really, she, uh, one of her really good punches was an uppercut and then roll and I was thinking, oh, I'd love to incorporate that. So, you know, it's just watching like loads of different fighters and just thinking, you know, I'd love to try that and then see if that works for me. And unfortunately with COVID, you haven't been out fighting since last December. So how have you managed to keep yourself motivated and keep yourself trained? Uh, so at the beginning of lockdown, it was really hard. Um, obviously, you know, working at the hospital, um, work just went manic. Um, and so at the first, because I think we might be going into a second lockdown now, so I'll, I'll call out on the, the first lockdown. Um, it, it was quite hard to stay motivated. And I did put on weight because I couldn't see myself fighting this year. But um I've changed gyms and I'm under rant now and you know he's just given me this motivation to be like you know you could get called up whenever wherever so it's just best to be like on fight weight and just pre as prepared as you can be so I'm just hoping that like you know hopefully by I don't know any chance that I could get on any sort of show that I just need to be ready at any point now so that's kind of what's keeping me motivated at the moment so with you, you mentioned about the hospital so you haven't juggle all your training with being a pharmacist is that right yeah yeah um sorry go on so you work full-time is that is that right um i used to work full-time i've cut down my hours now just because um and 
trains in the afternoon so I'll go in early to work and then try and finish you know by one o'clock so that I can go training but it's still kind of like um full-time-ish hours yeah so it is it it is hard trying to like you know fit training in with boxing but because I love it so much I don't see it as like a chore to go like sometimes I'm dead excited to be finishing at one because I know I've got training in the afternoon and I think oh I can't wait to learn something or practice something or like show something that I've been working on to like either James or Anne or uh, the other lads like Jake and just be like oh just training. <laughs> That's nice. It's nice if you enjoy it so much. It's a, it's a passion. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. Is there a particular, you know, some some boxers say, oh, I hate running, or they, they look like this, or they don't like, is there a particular training that you, you like the best that's a favourite bit of training? Oh, my favourite bit of training. Um, I, I, I think everyone loves doing the pads. I love being on the bags. I love doing, like, we have this, um, you know, the ladders, and, like, going in and out. I love doing them. I love doing footwork stuff anything really but you know jumping over the bar i'm running i'm all for everything else but them too <laughs> you, don't like, you don't like the running oh no um my best friend james he loves running he can run for miles dead fast i don't know how he does it i, I just hate it every single step i take i'm in pain <laughs> it's a better one, better being on the pads so oh, yeah. i think i recently um uh, message you know tweet you know did an instagram about you on the on the pads because you're looking pretty pretty strong and you said you think over lockdown you reckon you maybe you've got a bit stronger yeah yeah um i've got a strength and conditioning coach um i think on instagram he's called homes from home but um we've been focusing a lot on like um getting stronger and you know like building up the fast twitch muscle fibers i think that's um what it is um, but we've been focusing a lot on stuff like that. So we do like loads of slow movements to like build up strength and power and then switch it up and do loads of fast stuff so that I can like apply it. Um, so I think that's really helped me and really benefited me. And I'm looking a bit muscly now too as well. So <laughs> <laughs> seeing the results of it all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not going to show you because uh, I don't want people to get jealous, but you know. <laughs> I have to wait for your next fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, hoping, are you hoping maybe this year to get out or do you reckon it's more likely New Year? Oh, I don't know. Because um, obviously, like with Annie's just saying, be ready whenever. Um, I was hoping that it's going to be this year. Um, I don't know. No, my, no one's really told me anything about when it, oh, has that gone off? Am I still on? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, no one's really told me about a definite date. There's nothing set in stone because I think Boris was on today as well and I, I haven't seen the updates from that. So um, I'll have to speak to my manager, Steve, and see what's going on. But I hope this year, but it looks like it might be next year. <laughs> um, is there any, any particular people that you want to target? Any, you know, any fighters out there you think you might like to fight? That you can oh, make um, anyone just get out and fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just anyone really. Um, and yeah, I just want to get out and fight anyone. I, I, it's it's hard because you know without having a fight day and without fighting, you can't really. You can put yourself on the pads videos, you know, all the time, but without having a fight, it's like the fight nights the night to like showcase and it's like the big show and all the effort that you've put in like where people can't see it, all the runs, hill sprints, everything. Like that's the night to show everyone like, look at everything I've learned. So it's kind of like I'm doing all the hard stuff and there's no like end sight, like end date in sight. But um, yeah, just anyone really. I'm hoping to get, um, like a, another four rounder, hopefully under Anne, and then see what he thinks from there. Because you know, um, I'm, I've got like a such an amazing opportunity to be trained under him. He was a world champion, so anything that um, any advice that he can give me or whatever route he thinks to take, then I'll just go with that because he obviously knows what he's doing. <laughs> and um, weight wise, what what division do you think you'll you'll fight? next thing because you're going to stick to because you were you did your first your debut was um super lightweight 
Is that right? I fought it lightweight and then I think I came a little bit light on my second one. Um, I didn't get my weight cut, well, like my weight properly then, but um, since lockdown, I've got an amazing new sponsor with um, Box Fit Food Prep and they sort out all my meals for me. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I think it's going to be lightweight the next one. Um, I'll see how I feel then and I don't know, I might, I might go down or see what's best. Um, yeah, I kind of look like a little boy at lightweight, so I'm a bit upset to see what I look like at Super Feather. Uh, <laughs> so maybe just stick to lightweight. <laughs> right, well, I think, I think that's um, everything. So thank you very much for your time. And oh. I, really hope to, um, I really hope to see you out in that ring again soon. Oh, thanks for having me. And thanks for being the first one to be interviewed by me. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> it came across okay <laughs> oh i think you came across really well thank you very much oh thanks see ya thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please click like now and subscribe you can also follow me on twitter and on instagram thank you bye